Hello, chat. I've been meaning to do a uh, enlisted release on Steam stream, but uh, I didn't really find the time. And by the time I actually did find the time, I was planning on doing it tomorrow, um, they already closed the early access on Steam. So there's that. <laughs> Also, apparently, a couple of Streamlabs donations didn't load during the Archcast, so Dulio asked, did you see that Craig's side scroll stream was taken down by YouTube as they went down the rabbit hole of the USA government involved with esports and these consulting companies? I did hear that, yes. And Glowy, Dev, would never actually advocate for invading all those foreign countries because he would have to give up government-funded healthcare. That, and he couldn't play video games. I am sure Dev would do many silly things were he given enough leeway. <sighs> one minute late? Damn it, Dev, says Captain Furler. I wasn't one minute late. I was one minute on time. I was early. I was several seconds early, at least. So, uh, yeah. Uh, video game? Video game? Are you. Are you fighting me on this? You trying to resist? You aren't, do aren't you, you little, you little shit? You're trying to resist me. Why are you doing this? Mm hmm. Game capture, enlisted, video game, there we go, you little piece of shit. Why is it so quiet? Did I, did I turn off the sound? I turned off the sound, didn't I? Uh, I did, there we go, now the game's gonna be less quiet. I hope, yes, good. Alright, uh, let's see, uh, who's online? Uh, Private Shnushushu, I think I played with you last time. Uh, Deconis didn't get to play last time, so we'll just go from the, uh, the bottom of the list this time around, I guess. We're playing some Japan today. Uh, just go as high tier as you can, basically. If you can go only go low tier, well, you're gonna suffer mightily. <laughs> It's not too bad. I mean, I'm bringing a BR2 team in here because the army of dudes with giant long-ass spear-like bolt actions are actually pretty cute, in my opinion. Okay? I quite enjoy those. The fucking Ashigaru here. Surprisingly decent weapon, too. The uh, Type 99 Long. Good aim. Very good melee, of course, because it's enormous. Good bolts, good training on the guys. This is not actually a terrible Service squad. Despite the fact that you're almost tempted to, you know, just bring fucking sidearms on them. I also do hate the fact that they, uh, they of course, gave them back plaque slots instead of secondary weapons. Service so, yeah. And the extra medkits are cute, but you never get to use them. I, oh god, I love these guys. If I could if, just... To somehow give them an SMG, they'd be amazeballs, but... Mm. Yeah. Riffy20 is probably setting up his team, I'm presuming. There we go. So yeah, um, I wanted to cover the Steam release of Enlisted. And it's already over. <laughs> it's, it's, all, it's already done. It's finished. Uh, they closed the Steam release in... What, it's been like three days? Two or three days, I think. And they shut the entire thing down. They cancelled the release on Steam. They pulled the plug and they just crawled on back home, pissing, screaming, and shitting themselves. Raining terror. I was asleep, so I missed the Archcast. Well, that is a high capital crime. And the reason why uh, was twofold. One, they decided to launch the free-to-play game, Enlisted, on Steam, tied into a purchase-to-play package. So it was actually costing about 20-odd bucks. 
Um, weirdly enough, people on Steam looked at that and wondered, why are you asking me to play, pay $20 for a free-to-play game? That's weird. And scummy. And weird. And scummy. And yes, it was both of these things. Kill ten enemies using a melee weapon. I mean, I'd prefer not to. Three battles, I'll take that. Yeah, that pissed off a lot of people, unsurprisingly. Um, and well, it did actually come across as a bit of a scam. I saw more than one, um, more than one um, review, basically saying this is a free-to-play game. Don't buy it. Uh, you know, link here. I guess that's not a good idea, is it? It's not a good idea at all. And secondly, because they had, of course, promised, naturally enough, that when you got the game on Steam, you could simply just hook it up to your Gaijin account and play using your Gaijin account, which you probably have, like, hundreds of hours of progress on, right? Only natural. And they were like, oh, yeah, no, it'll be up and working. Don't worry about it. We'll, we'll have all of that stuff. It'll be great. You know, you won't lose any progress. Tee -hee. Well, guess what? It wasn't up and running. You couldn't connect easily. And if you had a different Gaijin account on Steam to play War Thunder, for example, then you couldn't register your enlisted account. It automatically started you out with a brand new enlisted account. So yeah, that was just um, just an all-around enormous fucking failure from beginning to end, pretty much. Good job, Gaijin. Good job. Well, uh, we'll, we'll see what they, what they try to do with that. I doubt that they'll just Ito Cheeto the entire plan of bringing it to Steam, because that would be dumb as well. I mean, like, you obviously want to bring the game to Steam for the obvious reason that they're simply just a... Uh, whole heaking heck of a lot more players on Steam, so obviously you want to bring it over, duh. Uh, but... The problem is, of course, if you can't do it properly. Or if indeed you do it so incredibly poorly that you actively discourage and or antagonize your players, which is what they did. They managed to antagonize their players. They managed to come across as scummy, and kind of abusive on Steam. They didn't really issue much in the way of an apology or communication as to how any of this could possibly have been allowed to happen, or how they could possibly have thought that releasing a free-to-play game on Steam attached to a fee would be perceived as, you know, okay and okie dokie wokey. So, you know, we overran that point way too fast. I was kind of hoping to be able to plink down some suppression fire on that building, but we kind of just overran it in about three milliseconds, actually. Okay, well. Screw you. The Otsu rifle is so fucking good, by the way. Oh, God. I... Dear Jesus Christ, this thing is so good. I love the Otsu rifle. I fucking love the Otsu rifle so much. Oh, didn't react quite quickly enough to that guy. See, the Otsu rifle, after the nightmare that is the Hay rifle, this thing is just a gift from heaven. Simple as. That's, that's what this is. It's got... Eh, the magazine is still pretty pathetic. You know, six rounds with one in the battle. Not good, but the... Ah, the aim! Oh, the aim is so fucking comfortable! It, it feels like it almost guides itself onto your opponent. It also doesn't quite have that musket characteristic of the hay rifle. You point the hay rifle at something and you have no fucking earthly clue where that bullet is gonna go. None. Zero. Zip. Nilch. No. You can pray, you know, you can ask God that maybe the bullet might go in the rough direction of where you're aiming it. You can do things like that. But in the end, you have no earthly power over where that fucking thing goes. 
Like, I'm pretty sure musketeers of the 18th century had significantly more control over their weaponry than that thing. Hello, Mr. Sherman. Good evening, bye, Mr. Sherman. That was a dumb place for you to be, wasn't it, Mr. Sherman? Yeah. Fucking foolish place to be, actually, Mr. Sherman. Uh-oh. Okay, uh, yep, no, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We might, I might not be dead yet. Aha! Yep, that was not a Sherman. I was about to say, if that's a Sherman, my goose is cooked. My, my belly button is violated. My, my butt is fucked. But if that was a Crusader, like it was, then I still have hope of surviving, and indeed killing him violently, which I did. Get back in. No. Oh, God, physics. Right. They were bad people over there, uh, but it's been a while now. Bad people die, 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 die. You should not have invaded Japan. You should not have come here, monkeys. Monkey. Monkey. Oh, hello. Armor. Whoosh! Get back in, gun. Fire! Kill! Why are you sitting in front of the gun? There we go. A fucking jumbo! Jesus Christ! Well, that was unfortunate for it. Oh, I was shooting HE at it. Okay, uh, that explains why I wasn't hurting it. In fact, I shouldn't have been hurting it at all. A jumbo should pretty much be immune to Japanese shit. But there you go. Go to Odim for five dollars. I'm dedicated to Dev being called Chairbreaker. Also, love the base content art. But where does the sound by a bit of Dev admitting to being a communist? See, I am trying to, uh, to 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 crack down on the Devian communism thing a little bit because, as fun as it is. Poor little Dev is starting to feel that people are taking it a little bit too far, so I'm like, okay, Dev, okay. We're gonna be trying to be nice to Dev, even though Dev might not deserve it. God, I love the fucking Utsu so much. It's such a good fucking rifle. God, it's such a good fucking rifle. I actually hate most of the semi-automatic rifles in this game. Like the G43, the Gewehr 43, for example, I actually despise that gun. I, I don't know why, it just... It does not work for me. There's something... There's something with the G43 that just doesn't fit with me. Whether it's the, the sight, or the, the recoil, or the flash, or something, it throws... Ow. Hello, tank. Do I have enough for an anti tank gun? I don't. Okay, well, that's a little bit tragic. Hey. Yeah, hello, tank. It's like, hello, I'm Grayzoding on the other side of the river, a million miles away from the objective. Why? Well, because I've pretty much given up on winning this game. I'm just trying to horse some kills now, which. To be fair, considering the sheer amount of one-sided roll this game is at the moment, might be the correct option. Oh yeah, this is. It's a complete fucking roll. This is another reason why I was pretty sure that the Steam release of this game would do absolutely terribly, because, uh... uh now I don't have the Otsu anymore, which means I'm gonna have a hard time aiming with my little dumbass bolt-action rifle. I don't hate the Japanese bolt actions, actually. I quite enjoy some of them. The, uh, the Type 99 long again is actually surprisingly... I was pretty much waiting for that to happen. He's actually pr surprisingly comfortable for what it is. Weirdly enough. Oh, there's a, there's a tank behind tank over there. Okay. Well, motherfucker, it's Banzai time. Oh, he already got Banzai. Okay, let's go for the next one then. The balance right now is very, very anti-American. See, mo a lot of the factions, including Japan, got some really big, cool new toys. 
And so everyone is, of course, playing with the big new cool toys. And that means that all of the experienced players are on the non-American team, leading to the Americans being absolutely butt-stomped like this. Trust me, I was I was grinding America there for a bit. I was like, okay, I'm gonna try and play America. Right, okay, that was a very quick game. So we'll give we'll give everyone at least one more round before we switch it out a little bit. Heresy's the question. Fire is the answer. <laughs> I was trying to grind America because I wanted to get a bit more points in the U.S. of A. Right, and it was just not gonna happen. It was just not gonna fucking happen. I gave up on it. It's just no, nope, nope, nope. America was getting fucked into the dirt by Germany, it was getting fucked into the dirt by Japan, it was just terrible. And so now I'm playing Japan. Plenty of stuff still to research here as well, of course. And I imagine, Dracovanes, I imagine that would really turn off new players right now as well, because, you know, America's probably going to be one of the most popular factions early on, because it's the US of A, you know. They're going to pick that up and play it, and then they're going to be like one tier one and two. This is a pretty cool video game. And then six hours later, when they're out of tier one and two, they're going to arrive at tier three, where people are going to pass their fucking asses around like party favors. And then they're going to be really sad and really angry that they just invested like six, seven hours into a game. And... Dracon has killed himself. All right. Private Schnuschnuschen then. And then they're going to scream, and they're going to shout, and they're going to go on the Reddit, and they're going to yell at their people there. And <laughs> with good reason as well. Very good reason, in fact. Because uh, the Japanese also got new toys. They got the Hay Automatic Rifle, which is apparently bullshit. They got the Type 100 MG, and they got the Huri, which, to be fair... The Japanese needed a fucking tank. Good God, did the Japanese need a tank that, you know, couldn't be penetrated by a 37mm. Like, th this is the Japanese tier 4 tank. Uh, armor 12. Oh, good. It's susceptible to fucking AT rifles. Brilliant. <sighs> but it has relegated the Americans to fuck puppet status yet again. Got to oh dim for number five. Maybe Dev should feel a little heat, aka shaming. I don't hate Dev. He just demonstrates. <laughs> he's just demonstrably wrong too often to ignore. <laughs> he is. He is that. He is that indeed. Ah, uh, it it's it's a it's a bit of a pain. Plus, the U.S. have always been a little bit of the noob draw, in my opinion. Um, old sc the old school system of campaigns, there used to be Normandy, uh, which was Americans versus Germans. The Germans had something like a 98% win rate in that campaign. It was fucking ridiculous. It, I, like, when you lost, you were genuinely shocked. Like, oh my god, that's, that's an absurdity. You would win, like, almost every match on Normandy with no issues whatsoever. Because everyone simply just played the Germans. African campaign was a little better, you know, because not that many people like Italy. Like Italy and, Eng and England were kind of like equally unpopular, I guess. The Japanese and American one was actually really good because uh, people kind of like both of them. The Japanese are weird and kawaii little retards and the Americans are the Americans. And since they forcibly balanced the campaigns by giving them era-appropriate equipment, you only saw things like M3 Stewards go up against the little dumbass Japanese tanks. Whereas now, you can run into an M26 fucking Pershing! <laughs> like, Hello! My tank has a 47mm gun! Hello! This is the... this is the fucking Tiger Tamer here! Oh boy... Yeah. It's like as as Japan you run up run up against fucking hundred hundred magazine drum Thompsons and M26 fucking Pershings and the likes and jumbos fucking jumbos. The poor ass fucking Japanese can barely pen a Sherman and you're gonna throw a jumbo at them. My god. Like the Germans struggled to deal with the jumbo. Ah, 
Like Japan is, it's it's just kind of like a, it's a mad dash to get to higher tier. That's what Japan is. You just gotta, you just gotta suffer through tier one and two, where you're just going to be absolutely pounded into the dirt because your gear is just gonna be a lot worse than the enemy. And once you're out of there, you've just got to get to tier three and then to tier four and five as soon as you conceivably can. That is like the entire entire objective of Japan. Just get up tiered ASAP. Because at least then, once you get up tiered, uh, you get to play with people who know what the fuck they're doing. And that is going to help you out a lot. Let me try an MG position right here. I don't really care about the other objective. In bomb disposal thingy, I just pick a objective and I stick to it, pretty much. All right, you go over there. No luck fishing, huh? Bingo. I really, really badly need levels on my uh, engineer squad, which is why I'm using it. Ah! You have disabled the enemy's bomb. The enemy is planting a bomb. Oh. Okay. Have the enemy just completely forgotten about our flank here? Have they, are they just, they're just attacking over there, are they? Okay. Okie dokie, then. Attack mine there. Oh, Jesus, they are. Holy shit, that's a lot of Americans. Um, I can only build one of these. Uh, damn. Well, I apparently bet on the wrong side. Uh, fine, let's move up onto their flank a little bit then. Place down some ammo here. Okay, right now I wish I had a bolt action. Right now I really wish I had a bolt action. The Otsu is fully workable for a little bit of, like, medium-range sniping like this. In large parts because of the fact that the Otsu has somehow no recoil. I don't know how the Japanese managed to make this magic weapon that doesn't kick at all, but they did. And I consider myself quite grateful for that, but it also doesn't really, you know, hit that hard either. So that's a, that's the downside of it. God, I, I need to, I need to set up the fucking MG here. I gotta set up the MG here. The MG would be such a fucking slaughter machine here. Gotta get the MG, gotta get the MG. <sighs> Tempted to set up the anti-tank gun, but... Why you hate me asks, would you recommend this game at this time? Um... I would say... Yes? With a... With a long pause? Yes, with a long pause is, is my response. Um, because it's a fun game. I really enjoy Enlisted. I think it's a great, great little first-person shooter. And it really scratches my itch. And it's a very, um... How do I... How do I put it? Um... It's a very... Non-first-person shootery type friendly first-person shooter. Like, even if you don't know much about first-person shooters, or you're not really particularly interested in first-person shooters, uh, you can still play Enlisted. 
comfortably. And you can do well in Enlisted. Uh, because of the squad system, you can feel like you're killing stuff. And you can feel like you're not just getting used like everybody else's convenient sex toy. You know? You'll be able to get kills. You'll be able to shoot your guns. You'll be able to play around with all of the World War II stuff and enjoy yourselves. Which is something that a lot of um, a lot of first-person shooters often get very wrong, uh, where you get into it and it's hyper competitive right from the get-go, and you just get stopped. Like all you achieve is feeding some other guy's kill streak, basically, and that's not very enjoyable. Which is, admittedly, kind of what I am doing to these people right now, as, um... They are threatening to, uh, just kind of overwhelm my ability to kill them by making it difficult for me to cool down my machine gun quickly enough. God help me. Okay, right, they're flanking me. Smart, intelligent of them. That is what they should be doing. Okay, I've been praising the Otsu rifle all day, but that was an interesting, uh... Interesting example of perhaps not being quite as accurate as I keep giving it credit for. Americans! Americans! Americans everywhere! God, so many Americans! No! Stop them! Stop them from invading the motherland! Leave! Leave Japan! Ah, filthy American invader! Filthy American! Ah. Americans! They just won't stop coming! No, they're like Tyranids! Ah. Hold down the button! We must stop the American horde! Oh my god! Oh, the humanity! I can feel the PTSD from all the dead Americans beginning to build up. I'm going to need some serious fucking trauma therapy after this. God, I'm a mass murderer. I'm Jeffrey Dahmer with a machine gun. No, how could this happen to me? God damn it, Americans. God damn it, flank me. <laughs> Find somewhere else to go! Go somewhere that isn't down the gullet of my fucking emplaced heavy machine gun! Anywhere, Americans! Anywhere! Yep, over there is the start. God help me. Oh my god. What is this slaughter? Oh my Jesus. The humanity. Jesus Christ, you done already? Are you all fucking dead? Nope, they're still coming. They just gave me enough, just enough time to cool down my barrel. God help me. What is this war crime? Sweet baby, Jesus. <sighs> My God, they finally stopped coming. No, nope, never mind. There they go again. Are they all dead? Are they all dead, chat? Is the war crime finally over? Is the horrors of war finally done? Thank God. Oh, hey! I died! To a mortar! Ah, oh, finally! Finally some entrepreneuring American was like, There's a machine gun over there killing, like, everyone! I should probably kill it! Yes. Yes, you probably should. Oh my God. 
Oh my god, 75 fucking kills on a single fucking character. I'm pretty sure that's a new personal record, unless I was in a tank or something, in which case it's, you know, high hundreds. Ah. Fucking hell, you may call me the Beast of Normandy, or the Beast of Iwo Jima, I guess. Oh, is that a... Oh, that's why. They... They had a call-in point right there, and they kept spawning on it, even as I kept shooting them. Oh, that is terrible. Oh, I feel bad now. I, I feel bad. Kill ten enemies. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I, I, I think we got that one, champ. I think we... I think we got that one pretty, pretty well. Ah, uh, okay. All right, uh, Riffy and uh, Zingoy. I'll start just moving people in and out, Nordak and Hellebrandt. And if you're still online when they've had two games, then we'll move you back, guys back in again. And Schutz Joe doesn't have to Draconis, so he gets another game. Ah, <sighs> well, that was pretty good. Um, and as I was saying about America being a little bit of a noob trap nation. <laughs> God, they just kept spawning there. They just kept spawning there. Jesus. And that is why we build heavy machine guns, chat. That's why we build heavy machine guns. Because sometimes, sometimes rarely... Um, the enemy will elect to just not stop you uh, and just let you do that to them. Uh, so yeah, that's that's why we uh, that's why we do that. But yes, to uh, to finish the thought, uh, I do recommend this game. I think it's a lot of fun. Um, I sort of sort of pseudo kind of recommend that maybe you wait until it gets like a proper Steam release. Uh, and that's primarily because once it does get a proper stream release, and it does actually, you know, function, you, you'll be able to join in at the same time as a lot of other new players. Uh, which will, of course, be nice, because you won't be playing against just the fucking crazy people who have been playing the game for 700 years already, you know? That would obviously be, uh advantageous, but uh, after the absolutely enormous fuck-up they made out of the Steam release, I don't know if there'll be another Steam release, honestly. It's like, who the fuck knows? Ooh, dig a paratrooper this time. That's pretty gay. That's very, very gay. Oh. Die, bitch, die. Oh, more of you. I love now more of you. Why? Stop coming over here, you little dirtbags. Stop being racist to the Japanese. Oh, okay, I hear noob tubes going off left, right, and center. That's... That's never a good thing. I really want to try and set up this machine gun here. Um, in fact, I'd love to set up an AA position, but I haven't actually unlocked the AA position for my engineers yet, which is a damn shame because that's a thousand points coming scrolling in towards me there slowly and retardedly. Right. Uh, this is not a great position, and I'm a little bit close to the bombers here, which I'm not an enormous fan of. Let's just get a little bit closer to the beach there, just in case. Just in case. Oh. Fuck, it's destroyed my rally point. Well, that is infuriating. Let's make another one.
A poor showing there by our, by our little intercept pilot. He almost, 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 he only managed to down a single one of them. Very, very disappointing. And it did, did not, did not knock our machine gun. Okay, nice. Unfortunately, they're not really approaching down the flank here. Yeah, tragically. Sometimes this can be a great position if the enemy is actually actively pushing down the flank, but... Not today, as it turns out. That was a rather disappointing round of shooting. Okay, lads. Dig it and um, hello. Prepare to repel borders. Ah. Springfield? Yeah, they got dudes camping up top. Which is hardly a red on this map. It is uh, definitely one of the things that people often do. You can see the tanks also are beginning to head up into the mountains. This map can be difficult to attack on, uh, no doubt about it. And so what people often do is they, oh, hello there. They simply just head up into the hills, basically, and they sit on top of a mountain to the, uh, where is it, the south there, and they just sit up there. Okay, this is not a great position for this either. Um, I would like to get in it, please, thank you. But sometimes, Sometimes you'll spot a tank moving up to get into position, and then you can kill the tank for 270 points. Yeah. Hey, imagine that. Isn't that nice? It is. It's really nice. And then you can shoot, keep shooting them with high explosives and keep making them sad for a little bit. Oh, hey, paratroopers. I fucking hate paratroopers. Please, all of you, expire. Die. Die screaming, if at all possible. Thank you. The HE loaded into the anti-tank gun is mercifully not very good, which is uh, probably a good thing. Otherwise, people would just use this thing as, well, uh, what I'm using it for right now. Just, you know, mercilessly killing infantry. And somebody is shooting back at me, which I don't appreciate. That was a very strategically placed smoke barrier right there. Uh, oh, there's a tank down there. Okay. All right, back on it. Move it. Nah, too much crossfire. Ah, oh, they built a heavy machine. Guys, they are going full camp today, huh? All right, all right. Yes, this is unfortunately something that does happen quite often. Uh, basically, when one team decides that they can't really do anything, which is exactly what has happened here, uh, they do end up often just going fuck it and just trying to camp as hard as possible and i can't even blame them i i pretty much do the same thing honestly like if you know you can't win and you've no fucking hope and hell of doing anything then what are you gonna do you're probably just gonna say fuck it i'm just gonna try and get some kills you know load up a sniper class sit down somewhere and just Try to get something out of the match, you know? Is there a second MG up there? God, they've really camped the shit out of that hill. Sadly, there's nobody really in front of me either.
And that, of course, is not really a uh, enlisted problem. That is a first-person shooter problem. If you end up with a uh, on a team where the people just aren't as good as the opposing team, you're just going to fucking lose. Simple as. That is the reality of all team-based games. Tragic though it may be. And so it comes down to me to try and find some place to camp too. Try and camp back to their camping. And so it begins in a vicious evil circle. These are also the games that people hate the most, regardless. Like, because if you're on the winning side, you can't really get much done because you're basically just camping out a bunch of campers. And if you're on the losing side, obviously you can't get much done because you're just trying to camp out a bunch of campers. So it's, uh... It's two opposite groups of people sitting as far and as statically away from one each other as conceivably possible, sniping. And short of, I don't know, um, artificially moving the deployment zone, I don't really know how you could deal with that problem. Hello. And of course, even if you were to do that, the only thing you'd really achieve is you'd just, you know, feed the attacking team into the defending team for them to slaughter them even more mercilessly, I guess, so, yeah. Not exactly an ideal solution either. I hate how the AI moves in little jerks. I don't know how they survived that artillery bombardment, but I'm happy I did. Zero says, Dev's playing Stellar Blade now. I'm browsing PS5s. Is it looking good? I hope it's looking good. I really hope it's looking good. I'm surprised and deeply confused that they're not releasing it on PC. I'm... Oh, hello there. I'm presuming, of course, that they are planning... There you go, got him. That they're planning a Steam release because it'd be fucking retarded of them not to. Like, it'd be absolutely bizarre to not release a game like that on PC and on Steam. It'd be, it'd be fucking weird. It'd be a real I hate money move. Ooh, the artillery's starting to hurt a little bit. Ah, uh, yeah, they got a tank up there now. as we continue to further invade their literal spawn zone. Go down, bitch. I have two bullets left. This is unfortunate. How did I miss that one? I don't know. Incompetence would probably be my answer. Die. Right. Out of bu -bu bullets, as Kibbs would say. I guess I'm going to go look for a reload now. Ba -ba 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 -ba. And to put it on PlayStation as well, I mean, Sony has pretty much made it clear that they hate sexy games. They hate fan service games. And so to choose them over everyone else to put on their platform, I is, uh... I got, really? I got all the way over there only to get killed by a tank. Oh. Okay, well, if we're gonna do the, uh, the sits on Krieg, then... I guess I'll load up an uh, aircraft and sit on Krieg from the air. I'm presuming because the developer is like Korean or something, and so Sony is like the, the big name over there, and so they just thought to themselves, okay, who are we going to sell this game to? And it's like, oh, Sony, I guess. Probably, probably. Ah, now that the D4Y is finally fully upgraded, I can actually reliably get off the carrier, which is nice. I could not do that precedingly. This is a carrier-based aircraft that has such a heavy ordnance loadout that it unironically struggles to get off the fucking carrier. Oh boy. Oh. 
What? 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 Okay. Did he... Did he hit me and I just didn't notice or something? Alright, well, I've got more aircraft to spam out, I guess. No, I killed myself, so he didn't even hit me. That was weird. I guess I just didn't have enough speed, because my aircraft just only fell out of the fucking sky. Nice. So, one of them is just sitting on the beach on an AA gun, hoping to get some sort of kills out of it, which... You know, not the worst idea ever. Get bombed, bitch. Right, where was that aircraft I saw? There you are. Good evening, buddy. I think you've signed up to become points. Yeah, I definitely think you have. Oh, boy. I tore the fucking face of that. Oh, bombers? <gasps> Bakugeki? Bakugeki or Sakugan too? Yes, mummy! Bakugeki, Bakugeki, Bakuretsuban. What was the... What, what, what was the song? Bakuretsu, Bakuretsu, don, 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 no. Konosuba song. You know, you know, chat. You know, don't fucking pretend you don't know. You know. Bakuretsu, Bakuretsu, don, don, don. Bakuretsu, Bakuretsu. Ah, bombers. Yes, bombers. Points! Points! So many points! So many delicious points! So many bullets, too, but, I mean, they're Wellingtons, so... Bakuretsu, bakuretsu. Don, don, don. I feel like it was don, 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 actually, now, more and more I think of it. Come on, get the engines. Nope! Stop. Alright. My aircraft is sad. That's fine. Uh, I'm out of bullets. That's less fine. Uh, how many did I get? I got one, two, three. And I tagged one so hard it's probably going to go down. Alright, not bad. That's like, what? 200 points each? 900 points for free? I'll take it. Explosion! Yes, Jax. Ah, 3,500 points. I'll take it. That was the one, yes. It's a very good song. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, victory. <laughs> like most of the enemy team disconnects. And I mean, can you blame them? One more game, and then we'll do a swap out again. Um, I feel like my... Yeah, there you go. I was about to say, I feel like my, uh... My, 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 my engineer regiment would have gotten themselves a fair few level ups there, and they did indeed. All right, uh... Blah. Let's see. I need a, a T gunner and a radio operator. And everyone too do I you know, I don't I don't want a radio operator too because I'm never gonna be bothered to fucking level up that radio gunner, so no. I don't want a lay radio operator level two. Right. Um. Blah. Do I really want to give them monster rifles? Yeah. You know what? I want to give them monster rifles. Uh. 
I almost feel like I'm I'm spoiling these guys a little bit too much by giving them so much nice stuff, but I really enjoy the Otsu rifle. Otsu rifle, really great rifle. Simple as. I'm not going to spoil them so much as to give them all mines. That'd be a bit much. <laughs> Commie raids. Did the communists arrive? And then Countless Pawn became of Megaman. Well, I think canonically she actually ended up um, marrying... Uh, um, the fuck was his name? Kazuto? The main character. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure canonically in the... Uh, oh, God, it's getting warm in here. In the... Uh, the, 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 the... Oh, we're going to join a game in going our way. Fair enough. In the thing. The, the books, light novels, whatever. I actually think he, think he ended up marrying Mega Min and uh, pounding many little mini Katsutors into her. Mini mini Katsus? With Katsu, uh, pretty, I'm pretty sure, being the Japanese word for cutlets. Or croquet. Or schnitzel, as we call them. He pounded so many schnitzels into Mega Min that she could barely walk and much less stand. But Mega Min was still happy for all the schnitzels inside of her. Little cheesy schnitzels, filling her up to the brim. Uh, I, don't oh, I don't know. I don't know. That kind of disturbs me a little bit. I don't know. I don't know if I want to see Mega Man filled by schnitzels. That... Mm. I know I brought it up, but I'm, I'm, I'm beginning to question my sanity for bringing it up. Overflowing with... With yellow, goozy, cheesy goodness. Have you filled your girlfriend with cheese today? Tragically, I think this is another one of those uh, battles where we win really, really, really badly. Um, hello there, little American tanku. American Tanku Chanu. I do not want to try to penetrate you frontally. That would almost certainly be a terrible idea. Unless you're going to do something really stupid. No. Yeah, you go back there. Don't. Yeah, see, that was. And he killed him past one, one hit. That was exactly what I was worried about because, you know, if you just sit there camping, as the tanks should be doing when they're losing that badly, you're just going to die. That's why I didn't want you to come up with me, but you elected to come up over there anyways. What a waste of an engineer squad. At least I got a capture zone up. Multitude, 15, 14. Come on, 15, there we go. I am always a bit nervous when I take this thing off the carrier that I am going to plonk it directly into the water. Ooh, okay, getting a little bit low there. Mm. <laughs> That's fine, just... Just trimming the foliage a little bit. Oh my god, we're actually going to lose a point, holy shit. My god. Could it be? Do we actually have a... A game on our hands? My god! Oh my god, Ru. Kami desu wa? Kami desu? Kami katsu. Kami katsu. Okay, well I'm gonna guess they're probably over here because they knocked over that point, and... Triple kill? Okay, so there were some people over there. 
Okay, enemy fighter heading towards our bomber. Oh, no, he's already being bounced. No point in me going over there with my pathetic 7.7mm machine guns. Boom. If you had to fill your girlfriend with cheese chat, what kind of cheese would you use? A cottage cheese? Vintage cheese? Swiss cheese? Solid cheese? Cream cheese? Like the soft and squishy cheese? The cheese in a can? That would probably be the easiest one. You just, you know, ram it right up there and then you hold down the button. Psh. Oof. Oof. <laughs> oh, that's a... that's a... ah, thank you, thank you, thank you, brain. Thank you for that. Suddenly very vivid mental image. God, I love my brain. I really do. It it does such things for me. Okay, which one of you is a friend? I hope the one falling to the ground in fire is not friend. It, it was not friend. Good. As I vividly see an image of just a corpulent, disgusting looking of the vagina, just having cheese smushed into it, just full. Oh god. It's starting to look gross now. Like, just yellowish, kind of like a little bit rotting, you know? Not very healthy looking at all, really. The juice is mixed in there because she's clearly liking this shit. I... Thank you, Brain. Thank you very much. One kill on a 500 kilogram bomb. That is what I would like to call an enormous waste. Hello, are you... Uh... you a bad person? I don't know if you're a bad person, but hopefully those tracers will, uh, will have convinced you to go somewhere else. Yeah, that was definitely a bad person, because friend is down there. Stop making me hate sex. Well, nobody said anything about sex. I mean, if you tried to put your dick in there, now that would be fucking weird. That would be disgusting. Like, you just see that vagina overflowing with cream cheese, just pulsating ever so slightly as the goop just overflows, and your first reaction would be like, yeah, I'd like to put my pee, -pee in there. That would make you weird. That would not be a me thing, chat. That is not a my problem. That is most assuredly a you problem. Don't you even try to make the that a me issue. Hello there, little American bomber pilot, sir. I'm sorry to inform you, but I can definitely outturn you. Oh, you're gonna ram your yep. It's like, no, I can't let myself be outplayed so easily. I must kill myself. Oh, fair enough. That's the honorable way out, I suppose. Just inverts aircraft, slams it into the ground. Don't let me be clear. You probably shouldn't engage in a turning match with a Japanese aircraft to begin with. It's a very bad idea. Universally, pretty much. Seriously. Universally. Uh-oh. Yeah, this is me dead almost certainly, but I can certainly hurt the fuck out of him whilst I die. And maybe I can get out too. The, uh, the D4Y is not useful for any sort of dogfighting thing at all. It is incredibly slow, it is incredibly fat, and it is incredibly dumb. It is a terrible, 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 terrible bomber. Its one redeeming feature is that it does have a 500 kilogram bomb, which is nice, but it's not nice enough. I can't wait to get the one that gets, um, I think it's the 250 kilogram bomb, because that'll basically just... No, I think it's two 250 kilogram bombs. Because that'll basically do the same job, but on a nimbler platform. Now, the Japanese fighter, on the other hand, is excellent. Love that thing. Hello there, Americans. Love that thing to bits. Oh, God, we're getting... Uh, We are getting overrun. Now we've actually got a match going here. At 
least the Japanese eventually get a bar fighter and a bomber of reasonable uh, reasonable levels. Ah, of course there's a tank there. Die, bitch, die. I'm sure we can get some more kills here before we have to move on. Especially if I lace this entire place with mines. That'll make it fun and engaging for the opposition. Uh. Oh, you are so Ah, you are spawning on the point, and so you get the infinite spawn protection. Okay, it finally ran out, thank fuck. Right. Hello there, Mr. Tank. One, two, three, four, five. Get fucked. Uh, damn it. That was a good throw, too, but he reacted. No, no, he's fucked. He's on fire. He's, he's boned. He's boned. He's just gonna real slow cook in there. Cooking, 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 Americans. Boiling, boiling, Americans. Come on, it's gotta get pretty to be pretty toasty in there by now. Ah, there we go, they're on fire now. No, you're not repairing that thing. Fuck you very much, sir. Oop. You come after me? Ooh. Die, bitch, die. Alright, running awfully low on bullets. Hello! Right, sadly I'm too far behind enemy lines and so I'm just going to seppuku myself, but... Aw, oh, he came looking for me. That's cute! Unfortunately for you, I was hiding on the roof all along, silly boy. Silly, silly willy. Hi! <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> No, why did you do that? I wish to fight on Ribri with melee weapons. My spear is mightier than your machine gun. Okay, maybe not. But seriously though, my machine gun, your machine gun, a spear. Okay, maybe I should have just shot him. That would have been more effective, but... Sometimes you just got a spear, dude. I was hoping there was somebody up there. There was not. Right, what if I sit here in the shadows where you can't quite see me and I just shoot lots of British people running towards me? How about that? Bitch. 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 Ah, uh, the Type 99 Long is a very comfortable bolt-action rifle, but I'm pretty sure they know where I am now, so I expect the moment I poke my head out there, I'm going to have it shot off. Which is exactly why maybe I shouldn't poke my head out there. Maybe I should, just a little bit. Damn it. Where are all the Americans?
There they are. Dirty little Brits. I hate the English. I hate the English. I hate the English. That's not true. I hate Canadians more. Ooh. Ah! Have you figured out that I'm in here yet? You haven't. Good. Oh, tank. Please, somebody kill it. <gasps> Actually, no. Wait. Tendo Heka! Banzai! This is a one way trip. One way or another. One, two, three, four. Get it underneath it. Ah! No, you're not good enough. Eh, kill one of them. Kill the dude driving it. Fair enough. Killing one of them is as good as killing all of them. Unfortunately, the Sherman is almost immune to debt packs, which makes me a little sad. If you can fangdangle one directly on top of its rear, you, you can maybe kill it. Uh, if you can get one... Oh, oh god underneath it you can maybe kill it but getting it underneath it is very difficult because of the way the game does collision uh, basically the moment your debt pack impacts with anything it just kind of jitter stops and doesn't go anywhere but hey I blew out its transmission and killed at least one dirty little allied soldier in the front seat so I'll take it Priest, give you enemy coordinates. Wish you to bomber them. Thank you. Arigatou gozaimasu. Omae wa mo shinde iru. I told you. You were already dead, you just didn't know it. Any Americans on my tail? No? Good. Alright, well that was more of a fight. In that, uh, hey, they, uh, they just took two points and two and a half points even, but... I think this all interrupted our wonderful discussion about cream cheese. Yay, Type 100 SMG late! Yay! I don't actually want the Type 100 SMG late. I could not care for it less, in fact. I'm just gonna go directly on to the next one. No, video game. I do not wish to accelerate my, prox my process, because I'll probably save all of that for the hay. My tiny, 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 pathetic quantity of... Free XP. This uh, this video game does not give you a large quantity of free XP. This quantity, this video game gives you a very small quantity. Uh, right. We've got two people new then, so Nord Ace and uh, Heldebrand. Thank you for playing, and uh, well, Pauline Riffy and Raconis and. Private Schnuschnuschnausen sh shoot 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 uh, is in the middle. <laughs> so since there's five people, I guess we just keep him in the middle. Listen, if, if you want to just keep playing, you gotta you got to make a name with P in it. Okay, because then you'll be in the middle and I'll just revolve around you, apparently. Boom, boom. I did not get a lot of XP in that one, no. Weirdly enough.
You know what would be really funny, though? Like, because what I was imagining as well with, with the cheese, you know, not just any, any normal receptacle. No, no, puffy vulva. Puffy vulva plus cream cheese. Ooh. Puffy vulva plus... Plus cream cheese. Yes. So that it kind of looks like it's rejecting it, you know? That it's having, like, a reaction to it or something. Mmm, perfect. And let's download that. Not that, by the way, chat. Not Puffy Vulva Cream Cheese. I was finding something else. Trust me. Obdulio for two dollars. Correct. Kazuma ends up with Megumin and Darkness continues to try and be his mistress. Well, that's good for her. I don't see why he wouldn't accept Darkness at that point, honestly. Darkness is a good grill. <laughs> Riffy Divine, you know he's putting a lot of thought into this, like a lot of thought. It's not that, it's just my brain runs away with things. You know, when it gets an image inside of it, it just starts producing that image and keeps adding to the image. It's entirely normal, I'm sure. You know those women who crush watermelons between their thighs? Do you think they ever have any problems with, you know, watermelon intrusions? I mean, I wouldn't imagine you'd be crushing it with enough force to really launch it at any serious velocity, but at the same time, you've now covered yourself in sticky, semi, kind of sugary goop. You know? Hmm. I'm sure they've got people willing to clean it up. A nice to Dylan I will never get. <laughs> I have unironically had dreams about hentai movies. I have unironically dreamt up the plot of a hentai movie. And then I wake up confused, like, hold on, that doesn't exist? <laughs> I spent like five minutes sitting on the toilet talking to myself, like, wait, I, sh I thought I had that somewhere. Is that, is that not real? Did I? Did I dream all of that? Jesus. I am a sick and deprived degenerate puppy, apparently. And then I feel proud of myself. Now then. Artillery strike. Yes, please. One right there. Can we go back to NTR instead? Well, we could. What well, part of NTR would you like to talk about? I'm, I'm open to the subject. How far do you want to go? We can discuss your subgenres. You know, personally, I'm more in favor of uh, nettori than, you know, netorare myself, but that's because I'm a man of culture. And you guys stand over there whilst I build this machine gun here. Oh. There we go. Right. If there's a tank over there, I am going to be so fucking sad in a moment. But if there isn't a tank over there and they try to cross that bridge, then I'm not going to be sad. In fact, if they try to cross that bridge and there's not a tank over there, I'm going to be extraordinarily happy. Because I'm going to do this to them. I saw you there. You're sneaking and creeping up on my machine gun position. Oh, hi. Did you not see what happened to you? Very kangaroo. Totemo totemo baka desu ne. I don't understand how Americanaru not not extinct. Americanaru clearly fucking retarded. Americanaru much much ashamed of their bloodline. Americanaru fucking dumbery.
Good, Americaner. Continue trying to cross the bridge of death. Oh, God. Americaner outside. Stab with bulleters. Stab Stab them with bullets. Americaner. Stab There. Oh, God. Artillery. Oh, filthy guys in there. Akuduru. Okay. That's weirdly enough, they seem to have gotten the memo, memo about the bridge. You see, Gaijin Meh. So. Alright, I should probably go and play some more mines. Hey, there you are. And somebody found one of my mines, too! It must be my birthday. Please, continue crossing the bridge. I like it when you try to cross the bridge. God. I feel like my AI somehow failed me there. They, uh... They, they didn't seem to take my predicament seriously and kind of just abandoned me to my fate. Hmm. Okay, this could be... problematic. This could definitely be very problematic. Yeah, I'm not... I'm not getting that in time. Okay, he's getting it. He's getting it. He's getting it. Oh. Fuck. Yeah, that was pretty much impossible. There's a lot more Americans over here than there were Japanese, I'm afraid. Bitch! And this is why having 50 bullets in your SMG is a great fucking idea. Well, I'm going to presume that my entire team is over there, and at that point is uh, adequately defended. Hey! I know you worked hard on that, but fuck you. Oh, 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 oh. And that, incidentally, is why you don't put 50 bullets in your... I mean, the odds that somebody else will come over here are pretty small, but I'm going to plant down a mine just in case they do. Because it leads to your SMG being really kind of uh, inaccurate and dog shit at medium to long ranges. But hey, so long as the enemy isn't shooting back at you, that's actually fine. As demonstrated. Right, let's try to cross the river of death and be out. Well, that was predictable. And be useful somewhere else. Gone to Odim for another fiver. In my opinion, cheese is the best invention of early civilization besides alcohol, which helps lead the two civilization. The world without cheese is not one I'd want. That is by and large correct, but do you approve of... Hold on a moment, gotta kill some British people. Do you approve of, of a world in which cheese is uh, pneumatically inserted into females' reading holes? 
Because that is the real question here. That's the... That's the big, would you? Would you really? Or would that be one step too far? Or perhaps one step too short? Or perhaps one step too many? Who even knows, really? Bitches. Oh, hi there. One little, two little, three little Americans. Four little, five little, six little Americans. Seven little, eight little, nine little Americans. Ten little American boys. Eleven little, twelve little, thirteen, fourteen little Americans. Fifteen. Oh god, out of ammo. <laughs> Get over there, get over there. Sixteen. Seventeen, eighteen. Nineteen little Americans. We're twenty. Twenty little Americans. American boys. Uh-oh. That one was a half-breed. God, I love that cartoon. 21. God, this is really... This stream is not going to go very down very well with my American audience for some reason, I expect. Which is a damn shame, seeing as Americans are the overwhelming majority of my audience, so... Oh, out of bullets again. God help me. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I know I missed this. I'll build more bullets. <gasps> no! Yes! That's right! Heavy anti-air machine gun time! Yes! Come on, build it. Build it before the filthy, dirty Gaijin get over here. Gaijin meh! Yes! Oh, Gaijin meh! Gaijin meh! Gaijin me get out of my way. Okay, build ammo dump. Please stay out of way of massive machine gun thing. Please, beg of you, stay out of way of massive machine gun thing. Okay, we are now being flanked, and the massive machine gun thing are becoming less useful, which is tragic. <laughs> You're gonna try and deny me my massive machine gun, aren't you, you fucking piece of shit? <sighs> Fuck it. Uh, I need this run. Any chance I could request a video from you from <laughs> for hundred dollars? Depends on the video. El Serrano, speaking of Japanese and Americans, did you know there was a Japanese general that ordered his officers to eat the American POWs? I did not know that, but I do not doubt for a second that that is true, because the Japanese were fucking insane. I can hear your dirty, filthy Gaijin spawn points. Before that, though, here. And now, Ru. Get to Fakuru! Yeah! Katana! Katana folded a thousand times! Mm, mm. No! Filthy cheating Americans! Coward. Oh, that's a lot of Americans. Coward. 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 No! Don't put me inside the building, you stupid video game. Coward. Coward. And that's what we do to bitches who don't engage in proper honorable sword duels. We fucking kill them all. Oh, hi there. I didn't see you until you started shooting at me. Don't worry, though. I am amply aware of your existence now. And I just happen to have a bolt-action rifle. 
Very unfortunate for you. God, so many Americans. So many filthy gaijin. How can there be so many foreigners in such a small place? That is the question that Japan must continue to ask itself as it grows larger. Damn it, damn it. Missing too much. Damn jerky AI and your weird half movements. Stop stopping and then moving again. Makes you difficult to hit. Ah. Okay, fair enough. Decent amount of kills. Ah. Uh, sweaty now. Hundred and three kills as infantry. That is quite impressive, actually. Normally you've got to get up into vehicles to start getting kills like that. But for some reason today, the Americans just kind of keep running at us, screaming. Aggressively. Piling up fucking mountains of their own dead. Without any care for their own safety. Perhaps the Americans have gone mad. Perhaps they have simply gone crazy. Wait, is my machine gun that's still intact? It is. Oh yes. Sweet baby Jesus, come to me. Hello, machine gun nest. I thought this was better situated. I felt like this was better situated. Americans? Americans? Firsi Gaijin Meh? There you are. Heresy is the question. Fire is the answer. Oh, tank. That's a problem. <laughs> How dare you attempt to Frank Rue? On. Oh, well, never mind. And I saw what happened to that guy, so I'm not going to get directly back on that. They seem to be shooting at my machine gun. Never mind. I'm sure they're not shooting at it anymore. I hear a spawn point. God. They just kind of keep walking towards me slowly in a single line. Why, they think this is the 1800s or something. Good on this guy, though, who keeps trying to flank me all the time. He's, he's intelligent. Unfortunately for him, his intelligence is severely outnumbered. He tried, but he failed. So Archeron, I would like to request you to do a smash or pass video for the safe for work version of Kinky Mation's Pokemus Dex, including reading the Dex entries for the first 151 Pokemuses. Kinky Mation's Pokemus Dex. Hundred and fifty one Pokemon. Hmm, that sounds like it's gonna take a while though. We'll we'll do um like a 
a fundraising thing for it to try and see if there's any interest, because that's a very weird thing to request, but if there is, then sure, I'll guess I'll take a note of that. You little weirdo sometimes. There. Noted down. Ah, good progress. We'll let it air a couple of episodes of streams and see if anybody's interested. God damn it. Game is almost sort of pseudo-intensive. It's fairly pretty. It makes my computer breathe heavy. And when my computer breathes heavy, it makes my room hot. Which I do hate. Enormously so. Mm, and stinky. Arch may need to clean himself after this. Oh god, I I I don't man, I am I'm scared of what's gonna happen with the new PC during summer. Jesus Christ, it's gonna heat the fucking room to be an oven. Oh boy. Going to need several fans in here unless Arch wants to die. And he doesn't. He doesn't want to die. Incidentally also, by the way. The game will populate teams if it doesn't have enough players with bots. That is part of the reasons, I believe, why these matches have been so fucking ridiculously one-sided. I've got a sneaky su suspicion that what happens is, we start the game, the enemy run into a brick wall in the first few minutes of the game, half of them simply quit because they don't want to spend the next 20 minutes being fucking fed on by a bunch of crazy Japanese people screaming weeb at them. And then the game goes like, okay, well, um, we're gonna have to throw some bots in here, and so it does. And hey, that's a fair enough solution, but uh, it does also often lead to scenarios in which the bots simply just, you know, gang up en masse and walk slowly into machine gun fire, which I don't mind, so long as they're doing it on the opposing team, not mine. There we go. Wadurukanaru, Easteru, Pururu. I don't know, part of me doesn't want to play with the engineers here, because I feel like we overrun these points so fucking fast, there's barely any point in it. No, no. Sitting back a row, building, homing beacon room. Shame for the spray. True Gaijin. Oh, not Gaijin. True Nippon. Nipponaru. Grab your sword. And start screaming and running towards enemy with sword. Yes. A true son of Nippon. No use these silly, silly spawn things or silly projectile weapons. True son of Nippon, you steer! Oh, charge the American. Gaijin gun lines. Which one leads the other way? Okay. Not cheating to use high explosive before steer. Merely intelligent. There we go. Now you steer! 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 Give them steer! Okay, that was a pretty good bunch of give them steer. Give them steer! Yuki Takaku! Okay, 
Tsugumotsu. Yes, who? Wow. Okay, that last bomb probably wouldn't. Probably wouldn't fit in, but. Oh, Gaijin Mech Steer! Ow. Wrong range steer! Wrong range steer! Wrong range steer! Katsuro Ikeda here is a bit of a revolutionary. He's a bit of a weirdo. The rest of his squad doesn't really like him. He believes that wrong range steer is superior to short range steer. One, two, three, four, go away, you whore! He also believes that explosives is not cheating, uh, which even his dear deceased Bancho thought as well, so there's that. Steer! But sometimes even he understands that. Medium range steer! Steer! Even he understands, of course, that sometimes uh, short range steel is superior to long range steel. It really depends, you know? Sometimes long range steer are good, sometimes short range steer are good. Oh, says for Krieg. I don't know if even Krieg would be able to pour to keep up with this level of bonsai. This is so much bonsai. Bonsai intensifies. All right, we did get ourselves all slaughtered without taking the point, which is unfortunate. But that just means that we'll have to try again. That's all. Come on, peek out. Peek out. There you go. Good boy. You can always trust Americanaru Gaijinaru to peekaroo. Fiercely, Gaijin Meh. Always Pikaru. This is because they were raised inquisitive. Raised soft. Not raised hard. Like Japanese. Japanese power. Great sons of Nippon, not raised soft. Not inquisitive. Oh. Great son of Nippon out of ammunition. Unfortunate. Use explosives. Great son of Nippon feels cheated by that. Feels like you should have killed him there. Feels like that was unfair. Enough bullets. Oh. More bullets. Come, Jiro. We have completed our objective. We must advance upon the Gaijin now. Protect Dai Nippon from Fierce the Invader. No! I was just following him, wasn't even doing anything mean. Oh. 
little console peasant, I hit you. I feel like they might have given up now, because they're kind of just moving off the point. Like, yeah, I don't want to be on the point. Point dangerous. We just die if we're in the point. Which, to be fair, does appear to be true. Uh, there. Now, little fibs, the Americans. Where are you hiding? Hiding up here. Hiding down there. This is a great machine gun, by the way, in case you're wondering. Because it's a fucking sniper machine gun, that's why. And then God decided to give the Japanese a sniper rifle with a fucking scope on it. And the American decided to cry about it. But in the end, it didn't really matter that they cried about it. Because it was still a machine gun with a fucking scope attached. Only problem was it did run out of ammunition. Can we build any ammo up here? No? Okay. Oh, somebody did build ammo down there. That's a... It's a long walk, but I'll take it. Oh, never mind. Well, at least I didn't have to go on the long walk. Yeah, they're holding us up here. All right, men. You know what to do. There is only one thing to do. If Glorious Nippon is being thrown down, Glorious Nippon must give Shior. Only Shior can solve deadlock. Only Shior. And the okay. case. Steer! Oh! Steer! 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 Uh, also, one, two, three, four, five. Hello! Boom! Where is it? Where is it? There. It was. Oh! Gaijin! Weapon? Glorious Gaijin gun, not bad. Do you remember tremendous quantity of wrong rage steer? Ah. And suddenly the Japanese discovered automatic weaponry. Kiharu had never seen such a weapon before. It was like his gun, but it fired more bullets at once and didn't require him to work the little bolts to reload his weapon. Kiharu was amazed at this piece of technology. He did not understand why Glorious Nippon could not make something similar. He wondered why he still had to use his bolt-action rifle. He did not understand that. Steer is superior to silly weapons that fire fast. It is only through sh steer that the correct character for victory can be built. I saw you there, bitch. It is dangerous to embrace multi-firing weaponry. Because you might forget that steer is only way to true victory. Elsie Saram says, I don't see any duckboard in those trenches. You think the Japanese were able to invent duckboard? No. The Japanese never discovered the secrets of duckboard, or many things, honestly. Oh, no, don't shoot me. Don't shoot me trying to build a machine gun. Fire is the answer. Oh, 
I wish this game had the concept of suppressing fire, incidentally. I mean, it does in that, you know, suppressing fire is just bullets being fired in your general direction that freaks you out a little bit. But I would love if it had like a, like your camera started shaking or something, like Battlefield did. Because that would make an even more point if I were to build this machine gun. But now my machine gun mattered for nothing because we instantly took the point and I didn't get a single machine gun. So now I'm sad. Ah, tomodachi da. Utsu, utsu, utsu wa naranu. I am trying to think in Japanese right now. It's throwing me off something fucking horribly. Sore wa teki desu. Sore wa koroshu. Korosu, korosu ga ii no. Sto desu. And it's messing with my aim a little bit here. This is less of an aim issue and more of a this weapon is very, very inaccurate issue. Subnautical guidance. Oh. There's no amount of kills though. That's what I also says. I only know one Japanese character and it's the one for women. I was told it looks like a woman with her arms open and her legs crossed. Well, then you'll also know the Japanese character for noisy which is the Japanese character for woman, repeated three times. Which makes a lot of sense, you can't deny. Oh. Bomb it. 89 kills as infantry, still not bad. Private Wienisch Nautzel is always on top though, which annoys me. I wish he was worse at the game. I hate him. I hate him, for he is better at the shooter game than I am. I don't like it. I don't like it when people are better than me at things. Oh, now that's a fucking artillery strike right there. Yeah. That's an artillery strike. And that's another complete and utter fucking face roll. Mm. I was given a hat for my awards. Good. I do enjoy having a hat, of course. Thank you for the hat. Yay, gold order weapon. Is there any even... I've got a, I've got a lot of gold order weapons now, I think. Uh, I've got four, yes. Is there anything I would want, though? Type Hay Rifle 10? No. Type 1 SMG? No. FN Model 1930? No. Type A Sword Pistol? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, hey, can you use the sidearm? You can. Good. Right, we'll have to... Must I have a new... Do I need to have one now? Okay, here, you. There you go. Sword Pister. Right, it's time to send Riffy and Dracodis packing again. I really should kick Private Wiener Schnauzel. I don't like it that he makes me feel worse at the game. And now I held around to Nortes, who I can reliably beat. I like them better than Private Wiener Schnitzel. Hyperdimension Bliss. The truth is better. It's not noisy. It's adultery. It's not noisy. It's adultery. What? Is adultery truly a crime? Should we not view adultery instead as simply just partner activities with different people? Hmm? Hmm? Maybe if we should view it as a form of spreading the love. Service yes. guarantees citizenship. 
Because surely, if you cuckold your partner, you have created more happiness in the world. We could bike bike cuck this pretty hard. We could. If you cuckold someone, you will have made the happiness in the world increase by more than if you did not cuckold them. I'm not sure of the logic behind this, but supposedly it makes sense. Oh, the kanji for for uh, for three women is adultery. Not noisy, really. Hmm. Hmm. It could be both. The Japanese language is retarded like that, in that things have multiple meanings because the Japanese are weird. It should be a crime, though, shouldn't it? I like the idea of making it a crime, though, because it's a criminal activity that primarily affects women. Also, Sorana, Ash, you need to make more happiness by breeding kids. Would that create more happiness? Would that not just create more sadness? I don't know. I don't know if that would be a morale boost, honestly. And I feel as if it might be the exact opposite. I think it would make everything worse. Unless he can become pregnant, in which case I guess we'll have three people. But I feel as if the child might be sad as well. So, child, who are your parents? Well... <laughs> Once a cat boy, he, he prostitutes himself on the internet. Oh boy, what about the other one? Oh, he screams in Japanese as he kills Americans with a pistol, and with, which has a sword attached. Oh. That would be one damaged fucking child, I'll tell you that much. God, I wish the Japanese got a Gundam in this chat. I wish they had a Gundam, that would be fantastic. But no, instead of a Gundam, we get... Uh, sword pistol. No, not defense strategic zone. No. I, okay. I need to make a spawn point first because I need to whore more points on my engineer squad. So we'll do that first and foremost. Then we'll have a look at dumb sword pistol. Right, and the Americans are going to be coming from over there. Okay, very well. Service then I shall put a spawn point in this house right over here by the rocking chair. Perfect. Actually, if you do that, you'll finish it for me. Beautiful! Okay, because if you'll finish it for me, that means I can go over here... And plant artillery there. That's not actually a good position. I don't see in it. Oh, hello. Oh, hi, Americanskis. Oh, my God. Boy, no. Please shoot the bad American. Finish them off too, if you please. Thank you. Right. Probably mostly coming from there. Anti-personnel mine there. Ah, damn it. There's a little shitter already camping up there, isn't he? Little piece of scum. Old dog. Now, if he's intelligent, he'll shoot my gun to deny me from having it. Oh, I think he... Did he leave that position? I think he might have. Oh, hi. Yep, let's not do that. 
Wait. Damn it. Did it too soon. Carnation. I need somebody to deal with that thing before I can get on the machine gun. Ah, oh, why did you push me out of the way? Dead? It ain't dead. I, the one thing that I do dislike about this wonderful gun is of course the fact that you do pretty much need two shots on everything to actually kill them, which is annoying, sad, and unfortunate in the extreme. Unless you hit them in the head, of course. In which case, one of them will close off. Yeah. Oh, that was Machine gun. Please, somebody kill that Sherman. Thank you for firing your weapon and telling me where you were. I appreciate it. And boom. <laughs> You may have cured me, but I cured you too. All right. Oh yeah, this is. Oh, this is very Meiku Sensu. Very Meiku Sensu. Are you still alive? Okay. Just explode, okay? Thank you. Oh, uh-oh, aircraft. Be afraid, be very afraid, be very afraid. Lay down. Mm, get stuffed, get stuffed, get stuffed, get stuffed, get stuffed. Yes. Sword pistol. Best weapon in video game. Infinitely superior to stupid American bullet spittery technology. Vastly superior in every conceivable way. Your stupid burret spitter run out of bullets. But my sword never runs out of sword. Uh oh. There are bad people in there, aren't they? There are. Right, there are bad people over there, aren't there? Ah, get that Silly tank is sitting on the gray line. Can't get it. Silly, silly tank. Disgusting. Control Tim, thoughts on women voting? Should they be for open conscription and have equal legal sentences since they get the right, then have the responsibility? Well, of course, yes. Obviously, that's... That only makes sense. Equal rights should obviously lead to equal duties. Of course. That's only natural. To not have that would be silly. There's a spawn point down here somewhere, isn't there? There is. Right. Where is it? There it is. If you're out behind me, you little dirtbag. Get stuffed by AI, bitch. 
If you're in a country where military service is mandatory, then of course, anyone who is allowed to vote in that country should need to undergo military service. Regardless of whether or not they are male or female. How on God's good green bleeding fucking earth did you manage that one, boy? I feel like... Rockets. I was just shot through a tremendous number of impediments. Oh well. Did I kill my spawn point? Oh, shit. Okay, well, we'll build another one, then. The previous first of this type of sort of my mission. No? There's not a spawn point. I must still have a spawn point up, I guess. Fine by me. I would very much so like to get in this house. Specifically, so that I can fill it with mines. See? Little brick person. If you had correctly, as you should have, simply just bunzied my ass, I would have died there. But you didn't bunzied my ass, and so what happened instead? You died. Oh, that's right. I have an AT weapon. Hello. I think that might have hit the side of the house. Ich habe rocket launcher. God, he got in the house and avoided all my mines? What a dirty, dirty little communist. Oh well. I did get him! <laughs> the anti-personnel mine. And it just took a little bit longer, that's all. Oh, there we go. Rally point score 35. Yes. I, I thought I had a rally point score. Hmm. That's right. A sword pistol good. Boob pistol better. Mm. I don't know if such a I don't know if such a brilliant thing exists. Oh god, more tanks? How dare you? How dare you? How dare you use tanks? Filthy. What kind of filthy piece of shit uses armored weaponry? Any weapon that cannot be destroyed by a sword is an unfair weapon. Deeply unfair. I am warming to the pistol. In the weirdest, dumbest way, I am warming to the pistol. It's got a decent rate of fire, you know. Okay. I hear tank. I see tank. Yeah, the tank is kind of sitting squarely on one of our spawn points, so I should probably try and murder it. What? Ah, they're sitting up there now. Yeah. This is beginning to be one of those camp matches. They've probably given up all attempts at actually, you know, doing anything. Right, well, in that case, I might as well go flying for a bit. Playing Tenet, what was the craziest thing that happened in Norwegian history? The craziest thing that happened in Norwegian history. That's a broad request. Um, hmm, off the top of my head, it would be Harald Horfagre, Harald Feinherr. Uh, he decided to not cut his hair until he had conquered Norway. And so he did. He didn't cut his hair until he'd conquered Norway. Thus his name, Harald Feinherr, or Harald Horfagre. That was relatively absurd. A single Norwegian Viking warrior holding off like 300 Brits at Stamford Bridge was another one. That one's fairly insane too. Until they floated a barrel underneath him to kill him. Our mythology is fairly insane. Like how the Fenris wolf was bound by song, I think? Like the, the dwarves made a, a rope out of song and put it on the dog and the dog was like, well... Guess I'm fucking stuck. And so he was. 
Though I suppose that isn't technically history. I hear an aircraft engine. But I can't see an aircraft, which makes me worry. Because that usually means there's, there's something nearby that I really should be killing. I just want to make sure that I don't go too close to their carriers because then me wa mo shindiru. Did he jump out of his aircraft? I didn't see a shoot. Did he kill himself? Yes, he did. Okay. Interesting. So, what? He saw me on his tail, then instantly clicked the escape kill soldier? Okay. I mean, that's one way to deny the enemy a kill, I suppose. I mean, in games like these, where you get completely one-sidedly ruffled stomped, I... I understand. I understand the urge to be like, just, I don't want to play a video game. I want to... I just want to deny you one kill. I do it myself, quite frequently. I enjoy doing it. I find sexual satisfaction in doing it. Mm-hmm. Tremendous degrees of sexual satisfaction. I feel like I can hear an aircraft engine again. But I think I'm just imagining things now. Come on. I got time for one more bomb and run. Probably. Maybe. Possibly. Let's see. Anyone going to be so nice as to paint me a target? Ah, hello there, little tanku wanku. I see you there. I see you there. Thank you to whoever marked that. Much appreciated. What is the problem with this game? Ah, yes, I suppose we should talk about that again. Now, we talked about it at the beginning, uh, but the game was launched on Steam three days ago, and then it was pulled down from Steam. They needed to remove the game from Steam because it was getting absolutely fucking hammered, and I, I called it. I said this game would be absolutely fuck-stained on Steam, and it was. Mostly because of Gaijin's incredibly poor decision-making, as always, where they elected to remove, to remove, to release a free-to-play game that you can play right now for absolutely no cost whatsoever, as in this it is a free-to-play game, uh, for $20, which, weirdly enough, felt like oh, I don't know, a bit of a fucking scam, really, for the people on Steam, as they were being asked to pay 20 bucks for the video game that everyone else was getting for free. Hmm, weird. Mysterious, even. Only a thousand silver per battle pass? I think that should be at least 3,000. Come on, video game. Come on, at least 3,000. All right. One more game just to hold the brand and uh, Nordais get uh, two games each as well. Oh. <laughs> I am sorry, that name's a little bit too spicy for YouTube. I'll just be Nordais and hold the brand today then. What well, about the Draconis? Ah, oh, there you are, little Draconis. Ah, oh, Draconis is a good boy. Draconis has fed me a large quantity of bomber kills in the past, so. He gets special treatment occasionally. 
I uh, finally can start working on their goddamn steer list, huh? And there's zero firewater on Rumble. Archlay, go fall white man's burden and enslave the orcs for their own good to bring the standard of living up so they can be treated like humans. Rank should at least let you go and send paladins. Well, 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 well. It's a good plan. It's a good thing that we should do, but we can't do it. We're not allowed to do it. Sad though it may be. It could be worse. There is a season one of Suicide Squad. I know! And it too is being absolutely pounded, I see. I mean, to be fair, did anyone expect otherwise? Did anyone expect season one of Suicide Squad to not get fucking buried? No, I don't think so. And if anyone did sing a thing so, I think they would be very, very, very weird. Let's place you down here. It's a little far back, it's 90 meters, making it a suboptimal rally point, but at least it should be relatively safe and protected, I'm hoping. And hopefully, therefore, be able to stick around for the entirety of the match. I'm just gonna taco shell it. I'll give it a little bit of protection against random artillery barrages and such silly things. I don't think I can see anything, but I'm just gonna... Just gonna test it out real quick. See, maybe if I could sneak some APHE over that hole. Hell over there. Nope. Apparently not. Oh, hey, Dai! Get on my own! Yo, guy! Oh, get in Kakunim! Was that an enemy bomber? Just in case. That's probably friendly. Uh, well, it was. Yeah, can't hear anything. Right. Hi. Oh my god, my squad is so far behind me. Sorry, buddy. Good try, but no cigar. Oh. Brits. Score stick. Mine. That mine is probably a really, really far back, actually, now that I think about it. And I thought you fuckers were following me. And there was the enemy aircraft. Okay, I want to kill him if all possible. My air gun is still up. Sometimes it's really weird to get into these things. There he is. Nothing, huh? Mm, shame for display. I really don't like the Americans being allowed to have those rockets. I feel like maybe I just camp here and wait for him to get back and then... Shoot him the fuck down. Hello? There we go. I feel like I might do that. I feel like I don't like lightnings. I feel like the lightning is fucking ridiculously overpowered. That sound is... That is almost certainly an ally. Right. How smart is he? 
you're going to come in from a weird angle. That is indeed a friend, and is that is a friend too. Both of these are friends. Come on. Where are you? Did you bail? Oh. Well. He had a bit of a hard time. That's a friend too, I'm pretty sure. Paratroopers. Weirdly enough, the 20mm cannon does not actually do as much damage to paratroopers as you'd think it would do. Because you'd think it hurt them pretty bad. You would be wrong. Oh, here comes the lightning. I think. I can hear him. There you are. Uh, no. Get a little bastard. Come down here. Out of ammo? Really? After... Oh, Jesus. That was quick. Oh. Well, that was a lot of time wasted, I suppose. A lot of time that I could have been using to actually kill stuff. God. And then I get sniped from up on the hill. Eh. Eh. Eight kills. Sad now. The enemy... <laughs> I, th I think they actually gave up on attacking almost immediately this time around. Yep, they're just all up on the hill just trying to get kills. As I get fucking swap killed. Okay, well that's one of them dead. But there are a lot more of them up there. Ah, it is annoying, but I understand why they do it. It's like, yeah, 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 we can't win the game, so we're just gonna... Try to get whatever kills we can. Understandable. Understandable. Annoying, but understandable. Hello, paratroopers. Oh, that was one of our tanks. Okay. Another one of our tanks. I see our tanks are doing the same thing, just climbing up the mountain. Sometimes you just gotta climb the mountain. I shall do the exact same thing now. I think I would actually kind of like them to reconsider the uh, the gray zones. Maybe you should only be allowed to be in the gray zone for a set amount of time. Again, that would kind of push you onto the defenders, which would sort of kind of suck. Hello, Mr. Tanker. But I feel it would be a superior solution. Maybe, um... Ah. Maybe introduce some sort of... Boost? I don't know. Maybe, um... Maybe you only get artillery if you're outside of the gray zone. I don't really do anything with tanks, guy. Okay. Maybe the ammo point is outside of the range. So, preferably, you'd want a way to entice people out of the gray zone instead of forcing them out of the gray zone. God, they've... They've built sandbags up there. They've built entire fortifications up there. Jesus. Or maybe make like a super long gray line path where the enemy can get behind them. Eh, that could work too. Something to try and break the impasse of these, uh, these matches. Alternatively, something to, ah, remoralize the enemy? Maybe, uh, maybe they, buffs maybe? That'd be weird too though. Hey, you're losing! Let's arbitrarily give you, uh, bonuses. Well, that's kind of dumb. I don't know. I, I don't know if this is, a problem. A, this is a problem that has a solution, honestly. 
but it does lead to some unbelievably static fucking matches, as we are currently demonstrating. Okay, well, he just rammed himself into the mountainside because he felt like it, I guess. Must find a sniping spot that is not covered by people on hill. Or by tanks. Oh, you do see me do a Ooh, ammo. Nice. How about the little Sim City? Can I see the Sim City from here? Ooh, wow. Ooh, ooh, bullets. Screw you. That was a poor little tank driver who lost his tank. Downside of Sniper Machine Gun is Sniper Machine Gun does have massive recoil, so using Sniper Machine Gun while standing is non-ideal. Tremendously non-ideal. Americans on the offensive. Damn. Noob tombed. So to fire water, the only Suicide Squad I've seen was the animated movie, which, which was really entertaining. The animated movie? They have an animated movie? I saw the actual movie, and it was... Uh, the first one was not very good. In fact, the first one was awful, and I'm really surprised they got a sequel. But the second one, I actually weirdly enjoyed. Mostly due to uh, Peacekeeper. Peacekeeper was fun. Peacekeeper and Idris Elba. Like, uh, Deadshot and Peacekeeper had excellent chemistry. The way they were constantly, like, fighting and antagonizing one another and competing. That was really good. I enjoyed that a lot. Oh my god, how did you all die just crossing the street? Little bastards. You're my spare lives. You're not supposed to die so easily. No. No, he died before I could hit him. Yeah, not to mention going up north to bait orcs into attacking you to kill them and sell their corpses isn't immoral, but slavery is too far. Even though with both options start the war. Yeah. See, the thing is, I don't agree with the idea that slavery is worse than death. Than death. Than death. Than death. Than death. Than death. death. Death is worse than slavery. No matter how you flip and switch it, death is uh, definitely worse than slavery. It's one of those, we've moralized it part. We're like, oh, slavery, slavery. Slavery is the most monstrous, most terrible thing in the history of ever. Like, no, 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 no. Like, genocide is worse. And that was, of course, what we were doing before we came up with slavery. When one tribe conquered another tribe, they would just wipe out the entire tribe instead of making use of them. Which was mean. And highly ineffective for both parties involved. Oh, bastard. Okay, starting to get the hang of this rifle, but still not perfect. Ow. Ah. Uh. Out camped. I do hate paratrooper squads. Just in case I hadn't made that abundantly clear already. Right, well, I did kill half of his squad with one guy, so I'm relatively happy with that. The paratrooper squads were one of the worst additions to this game, I swear to Jesus. It's like, hello, we've got this game where you're intended to attack and or defend over relatively open ground. So we decided to add in a squad that bypasses the entire attack defend part of the video game. Okay. And then we decided to equip most of these squads with enormous magazine capacity submachine guns so they can drop directly on top of you. 
Back in the day, you could shoot down the uh, the uh, the aircraft. That was really cool. Because if you were lucky, you could kill a lot of paratroopers that way. And the fact that they're not unlockable in the tech tree, that annoys me. Because that means that if one team has paratroopers, they are at a severe advantage over the team that has not got paratroopers. Because one team is able to bypass the entire enemy's defensive line, and the other team is not. But it is Gaijin at the end of the day, and Gaijin's primary concern is to try and earn as much money as humanly possible, because Gaijin are bad people. Come on, Americans, there's only 42 points left. Throw yourself at the Japanese defensive lines. Let's get to this particular game of Sim City over with. I am not going to even bother putting down the mines because uh, I don't think I'm going to need them. Mm. Pour it. Having abandoned all hope. The Americans launch one final wave of assault upon the Japanese positions. Will their numbers be able to carry the day? I don't think so. Nope, I don't think so at all. I think their final desperate gambit has left them severely disappointed. Especially as their comrades are still up there! It's kind of adorable that <laughs> my two squads rush forward like, God, oh, we're gonna take the point, we gotta play the video game! The rest of people are like, no. I'm very comfortable in my mountainside home, thank you very much. And I have no intentions of leaving it. At any point. Ever. Ooh, you know what they could do? They could make it so that kills from the uh, the gray zone count for like half or something. So instead of like the, uh, what is it, 50 points you get for killing someone? You get like 25. Oh, that would piss people off. That would piss people off tremendously. I like that idea, actually. Just like, you want to camp over there? Okay, we're going to take uh, half of your points as penalty. I would encourage people to get the... get moving. Alright. Thank you very much for playing, chat, and for watching, and for your donations, as always, of course. And I think that is enough enlisted for today. Just to point out that enlisted on Steam failed miserably. Just as I said it would. Because Arch may not be psychic, but he is highly, highly intelligent. Thank you very much for watching, chat.